Welcome back, y'all, to Arcane Act 2. Um, it's me, your new Scottish brother. Um, I'm coining that, so yeah. Uh, we do have an addition to the background. We've got some Arcane pop figures, because I decided as soon as I found out they existed, I'm just going to order a bunch of them. So there's a few sitting back there, you know, to just set the tone. Um, especially going into this next act where everything's fucking crazy and everyone's grown up and yeah, I'm very excited for episode 6. I think, I feel like episode 6 is probably my favourite out of the whole series. But yeah, I feel like that's enough said. Let's just get into it. If you all enjoy, please leave a comment and like and subscribe and all that shit. And yeah, let's go! You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually remember the start of this episode. I'm Berdinger. Oh my god, look at the fire animation. Absolutely gorgeous. Our city is about to turn 200 years old. It's shaping up to be an amazing progress day. I think Jace is meant to look older here, but I actually can't really tell the difference. Stanwick set his personal ambitions aside. I'm wondering if he's someone in League lore. Our future. I wouldn't know. Your hex gates have done wonders for our city. Ignited passions in arts and science. You deserve this honor. Come to the lab this afternoon, I'll show you. You certainly have something to live up to, my boy. Ah. Gorgeous. And the music. They can do no wrong. That is so sick. That is so sick. I want to see a perspective of Piltover from... You know that scene in the first episode, like right at the very end of Vi and Powder looking over at Piltover? I need to see the same angle, but from the present perspective to see how different it looks. The visionary behind the hex gates, ah, the beacon of trade and Caitlin's prosperity mom. for our great- Ah. Serves you right. Caitlin all grown up. Badass. The police officers are so snazzy. Yes. We love the animators inserting themselves into the scenes. I hope, I hope every single animator that worked on this is somewhere in the series. I only know of those three, but I think everyone deserves their own spot. Everyone just like had a project to design their own cat. That'd be kind of sick if you just worked for Fortiche and all of you were like, let how, how about you go and make your own character and then we can put it somewhere in the series. That's a dream. That is literally a dream. From your friend downtown. Savika, look at your racked, arcane face. That is so sick. I fucking love that. The firelights. Fire You're a fucking badass. We have five minutes till they're out of there. The movements for their hover, hoverboard things. Goated. The way that they choreographed fights using those hoverboards as well. So sick. Impressive as fuck. Ah. The monkey. The jinx symbol. Coining that as your symbol after what happened in the last episode is crazy. Oh, I love the way they did this reveal as well. Bro, those two, the effects are so nice. Boom. She fairly has perfected her bombs. Ah! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Damn! Drop kicked in the face? Oh my god, the bitch slap. It was so funny watching this on like reactions and even like seeing my own family watch this and people thinking that that's Vi. <laughs> she does look very similar because of the hair but you can tell the face is different. And then everyone thought she was dead. Well, she is, but it's not Vi. Also, that scene with the, the violin music as well. 
like Jinx's chaotic theme. Oh! I forgot you had that minigun. Ah, oh, the spin. So good. Such a good scene. You are supposed to guard the cargo. <laughs> she just doesn't give a fuck. And seen that little sneak peek of Savika's new arm. Love it. But where are you getting them from? Supposed to bring magic into the life of the I need to know. And now, it finally can. Look at that. Gemstone. Just dropping one on the floor would uh, blow up the whole fucking place. So, smacking it with a hammer, you know it's safe. Yes, the gauntlets. Isn't that Victor's weapon in League? I might, I might be making that up actually, but I think it is. It's very impressive that you managed to do that. Obviously, there are a few kinks to iron out and screws to be tightened, but give it a decade of careful research and it will be ready. A breakthrough like this takes time, Victor. Putting that kind of power into everyone's hands is dangerous. Victor doesn't have time. And I'm sure you will discover a way to safeguard Hextech against misuse. He's not wrong, though. Like, see if that shit gets into the wrong hands. And we'll see it does. Um, haha. <laughs> Considering this is without, you know, magic. Yeah. Doesn't... That wouldn't really go well, would it? Caitlyn looking snazzy. Caitlyn's a true detective. Who shot you? Who were you working for? I can't. He'll kill me. Yeah, so Cole's not, um, too... Nice. Fuck off. You're supposed to be guarding your mother's tent. And you're supposed to be fucking dead. But we have a chain of command for a reason. Hmm. Do we know? Since you're looking for more work, you can take the graveyard ship tonight at the fair. That looked like she was holding like a Pokemon. Ah, opening the door into the beat drop. Ah, it's sad seeing the Undercity like this. Well, it wasn't exactly, you know, the best before, but seeing the last drop like this sucks. I like how the in the first episode you see the Undercity with playgrounds, and that's like a very introductory song, you know? And it's like, it kind of just explores the vibe of the Undercity, rather than this where it's like showing that, you know, it's kind of chaotic down here now. A lot more than it used to be. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. Right, that's kind of savage. You know Jinx can't do any wrong now. Ranks to the hex gates. The top siders are leaving us further and further behind. One of those firelight wackos was a girl. With pink hair. Ah. Your sister's gone. It's really uncomfortable and weird. Then they run off. Mmm. Their relationship is very weird. I know. But loving IG. Ew. I need to know what the fuck that does. I need to know. There has been no explanation of this. Ah. I love seeing fire animation. Oh my god, he looks so top heavy. His legs are so skinny. These people have nothing new to offer me. Ugh, I just can't get over the art style. It's so gorgeous. The only one actually worth my time is him. The golden boy. Mm. Ironic, because he didn't seem to be in a very good position last act. Why did everyone look at him so awkwardly? The Richies don't like him. He thinks I'm weak. Seeing the madness in our face. And I'm gonna show him. It's a goated leer. I love the graffiti all over the place. It's just so chaotic. And I can imagine the artist having a field day with that. This uh -huh. guy. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? That is some serious doctor handwriting or whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. It's also really hard seeing Victor between the two acts, how physically he's changed. I know many of you probably didn't expect to see me here today. And believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. 
<laughs> I like how Heimerdinger and Mel both gave different suggestions of what he should do. So he has to kind of choose his own, what he thinks right, morally. Something that um, we'll share with you when the time is right. And he made the right decision, 100%. Even though Mel's not super happy with it. It's just kind of unlucky. Whether you're the scion of our high houses or an honest laborer from the underground, we vow to keep pressing forward. For we are the city of progress and our future is bright. Oh, that's so cute. His mum's so proud of him. It kind of sucks Mel doesn't see that, doesn't understand. But she'll get over it. That's not a big deal. Also, those fire anima fire fire anima for brain. Those firework animations look goated. Don't you have a cocktail party to attend? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Fire! Oh, I also love this scene. Get the fire brigade. They love their fire animations. I can imagine all the two D artists that are working on the fire animations being like, oh fuck, another fire animation. <laughs> it's episode four and we've already done 50. Ah, the slow reveal. That actually gives me chills. Oh my god, the impact frames there, oof. It really just shows how crazy Jinx is now and how advanced she's gotten with her craft. She's too smart. And she finna rob the riches. The gemstone is gone, along with some of our research papers. Oh, the situation not is ideal. It may not be your preferred constituents, but there still are people. Maybe you should have someone from the Undercity on the council. Maybe you shouldn't, you know, leave them in the dark. My mistake cost people their lives. Yeah, but you were a safeguard in it. that we suspend all Hextech operations until the situation is resolved. Have you lost your mind? All they care about is their money. Jace is smart. The Hexgates, my goods, cannot reach... See, Mel's understanding it now. She's understanding his decision. Perhaps the time has come to explore a more radical, radical solution. solution. I propose that a new chair be brought forth and that House Talus be elevated to this august body. The council has held seven seats for generations. Yeah, but there's extra seats on the table, so. I second the motion. Well then, shall we vote? I want to know who voted for him to be a counsellor because there's got to be some of them that didn't want that. Ah, I do know this. This is the Jinx song that League made. Or Riot. Love that she's listened to her own tune. That's me! Enforcers! Dead! A building blown to pieces! Oh, yeah. Do you have any idea what you've done? Actually. I, I do. do. Immediately forgiven by him. But I like the fact that he was fuming at her. He knows that was fucked. The art they've done for like plants in the series is wild. Look at that shit. Gorge. Whoever attacked the square is our suspect. The same symbols showed up at the botched smuggling operation at the Hex Gates. The Hex Gates? The fact he doesn't even know about that. If I can figure out who made this, it could lead me directly to whoever's behind it all. Stillwater looking sick as fuck. I always forget this scene exists. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh yeah, that happens. Yeah. The hand wraps. We know the hand wraps. I wonder who assaulted him. <laughs> hey bestie, loving the new tats. Sweaty back. Sweaty everyone. Ah! Do you know what? I kind of keep viewing these as like the first episode of each act. What a first episode, do you know what I mean? Like, introducing us into the future. Um... And it's fucking crazy here already. It's been one episode and it's crazy here. 
Anyway, on to the next episode. Right, remember how I was talking about how they do gorgeous flowers and scenery? They just like paint nature so well. This scene. This scene proves that. This is like, look at that, it's so gorgeous. The water droplets and the spider webs. I absolutely love this opening. It just looks so good. And Kate was a badass since day one. Yes. Also the cold breath. For teacher the animation gods. Nice. Grayson. Hey. Did my parents pay you to let me win? Did my parents pay you to let me win? No, your parents didn't pay me. For me, knowing how to handle this weapon means being able to protect people. What are you shooting for? The same reason. Oh, what transition? Oh my god. That's another thing I should mention. Transitions in Arcane are insane. Give Silco a kiss on that winning eye of his, will you? Does this mean anything to you? Where did you get this? Up here, Brum. There was an attack. I need proof if I'm to believe what you're saying about Silco. I could get it for you. Just not for mm. me. Thunder said he's going to eat you alive. That's funny. Kate immediately goes to tells. trust in her. Concerning inmate 516. Let's go, bye. We're breaking you out. Oh, the misery. Oh. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Oh, shit. These brave enforcers sacrificed their lives to defend the values of our great city. His little door is cute. But fuck you, Marcus. Sucks that you're a shite person. Look. They know how... I can't. They know how to paint an environment. Who beautifully. An incredible woman who got killed. You motherfucker! Dead Get those fucking pedo sideburns. Six officers. Six. Out of here. She pushed it too far this time. The council's up in arms. I can't make this go away for you. She did it you twice, Kenna. For their families. From an anonymous. Wow, he really just groped them for no reason. Transition time. <laughs> you know, they went crazy with the transitions in this episode. I think there's another one coming up that's insane too. What about our oh my god. Lives for those in need. For the undercity. Soon we can do everything. Soon there are people who need our He's help talking now, about himself. Jace. Not that that's a bad thing, of course. Victor needs to stay alive. Are you sure you don't want to confer with the other counselors before this No one asked Matt, Marcus. Shares. I intend to root it out. Do you, Jace? Because <laughs> you're very close to it. But very far. <coughs> no. I don't like seeing Victor's descent. And his blood's doing something weird with the the magic. I need to get to the lamp. Jace. Oh, stop being naive. There's literally fucking blood right there. Yo, it's his notebook. Riot, can you make that like a sketchbook, please? Please? I would buy it. So, here goes. Me when Kate's mom. What? Oh my god. Wow. That really is, like, traumatic. Jinx has some serious trauma. And it's so sad that she'll, she didn't have anyone to go through it with. Oh, The music here is giving me chills. Vi back in the Undercity after all these years and it's different. Same kind of view as the first episode when we see her go down the left. And we made it down. Same time as old, old Jin, whatever the fuck he is. I'm waiting the fuck. What? What? What even the fuck is that? What the hell is even that? Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? My little sister could do that when she was seven. Could could powder do that? I think that was a bit of powder shade from me. Apologies. Oh my god. Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> I think this is Ray Chen. Slay. That's so sick that he got to do music for this and for Tisha animated him in. Your house is in trouble. This scene's also really cool. This is so underrated, this scene of him playing the violin. Although it's... I don't know what the fuck that is in this universe. No one... We don't talk about it enough. Look at those two stooges. Counselors Hoskell and Sella? Don't they hate each other? I also hate them, so... Mel knows how to dress. They don't. They wear the same fucking outfit every day. 
You fucking stinky bitches. You're reeking a shit. I also love this scene, and this is the scene I'm talking about with the other transition. The transitions are a triple threat in this episode. Remember when Violet lobbed that at an enforcer's head? Scenes. <laughs> the fact that Jinx shoots that bird just shows you how fucking crazy she is. Satisfying. Uh, another wallpaper for you. My god. The fighting style is so chaotic. I love it. Oh, this scene is so well done. Also, Ella Purnell, voice actor, slaying. Damn, still below Vi. That sucks to see. The transition! Yes! We love it. I also noticed, edit in the first video, I say we love a lot. And meaning we love it. We love it. We love. Someone's been saying that in uni, and I have just picked it up, and I can't stop saying it. I never wanted anything to do with politics. You pushed this on me. Future now, Jace, whether you like it or not. With that comes the potential to shape your own destiny. With us, you'd be investing in the future. How can I say no to such an auspicious offer? How can I say no to such an auspicious offer? I remember seeing the reference video used for that animation there. They're so smart. Let Fortiche, let me let me join. Can I come? Can I be a part of that? Can I do some animation, please? Can I work there? Oh my god, the violin. We don't talk about that scene enough. Fuck him up, Rachin. You eat. How many letters in Heimerdinger? Twelve. Okay, I was kind of wrong. What the fuck is that? Shimmer, probably. Let him think you work here. Excuse me? You know what your problem is? Please, tell me. You have to let them think you have what they want. And what do I have? You're hot. Cupcake. Ooh. So what'll it be? Man or woman? My name's Matilda. My parents named me Matilda. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's kind of crazy that he still has that coin that was dropped in the blood from the start. You could have had an arc, Marcus, but you're a cunt. Oh! I feel like that's a shit idea from you, Silco. Because if we realise it's not from... Well, it doesn't matter if we know the ending. Do you know what I mean? Oh! Then what are you waiting for? I was shook when I saw that. I was like, holy fuck. That was smart. That was smart. The looks of it, no one down here lifted a finger to stop Silco. A few tried, but Silco's got the muscle and the money. I actually want to see that. The people trying to go, like, how Silco came into power. Silco's number two's irregular. I can have Miguel tell you where to go. Ah. I owe you. Sevika. The Madadas usually only take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. It sucks that she feels so tied to her family name. Oh, wait, I, oh, I actually forgot about this scene. Probably going to sleep here tonight. That Again. sucks. You know, there's always tomorrow, right? Good night, Miss Young. That's so sad. Because Victor's desperately trying to figure this out to save himself. And if he doesn't, he would never have been able to, uh, oh, um, you know, be with Sky. <laughs> um, oh. Um, what was I saying? But it sucks that he can't enjoy himself. And, you know, Sky is one of those few people that, like, want to be around with him, which sucks for them. No! Victor's dying, y'all! Can we not? Victor's coughing blood up all over the joint and you're fucking raw dogging it over here. Did, did, did the animators have to use a reference video for this too? Beautiful visuals. Gorgeous music too. Anyway. That's... Th fourth transition! The fourth transition. 
gorgeous scene today again. Right. He was like a brother to you hmm. when he turned his back. And blah, 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 blah. I should point out, this whole series is just going to be me absolutely raving about how goated this TV show is. And as I should, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no, this was also weird. Oh, it got a bit too close. We all felt uncomfortable. That was the point. But they have a weird relationship and I'm scared. Mother, please help. Get in the intro and the mute and the mute in the scene. Get in the intro later in the episodes. But it's not the intro. Oh my god. Please help me. I'm struggling. Oh, what a card toss. Hey, Imagine Dragons. Welcome to Arcane. We're getting all the artists in this episode. Wood Kids better have a character next season. Because he's doing another song for them. And also, his song is my favourite from literally the next episodes. Yes! Oh, hello, Marcus. Uh, have I said fuck you at all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Victor deserved so much better. How much time do I have? Oh, we'll never find out as well. Yes! A knee to the face. Oh, I love that reveal. Oh my god, look at it. Vi's been practicing, she's had all this time in prison. Fucking up some bitches. You have shimmer, you animal. Oh! Right in the fanny. Oh my god, the way she uses her arm to help her up. So sick. And drop kicked through a wall. Damn, Savika, you're slacking, even with the mechanical arm. Where is he keeping her? Keeping her? You mean Jinx? She works for him. Ah, uh, yeah. Awkward. And we get shanked. I'll give her your regard. Yes, Caitlyn! Yes! Kill him! Well, well, you know, don't actually kill her, but like... Do you ever say thank you? Yeah. He's gonna know where oh, the way that folds is so satisfying. You're an alright shot. I'm an excellent shot. Do you know what? Gonna you are. Cupcake? As you should. Oh my god. Also this chin! Oh! Oh! The way she's using that bird's feathers as like bookmarks, <laughs> that's kind of fucked. Oh, oh my god, the bunny. Oh, I also love that scene, that is so satisfying. The spin. The sister. She's back. From the dead. From the dead. Yeah. She was never dead. Fuck Marcus. But also... You know, keeping Vi a secret from Silco, I have to respect it. You know, we need that, uh, but fuck you. Anyway, time for my favourite episode. Actually, do you know what? It could be, episode 7 could also be my favourite. Episode seven's very good as well. They're all really good, but favourite wise. No, I think the ending of this just makes it the best. Actually, also the ending to episode 9. So good. Look at that water animation. Incredible. The model for that, incredible too. Hey Sky. Didn't know we knew each other like that at this age. Smart little engineer. What a cutie. Victor supremacy, bro. Victor deserves so much better. Rio. It's a rare mutation that I cultivated. Go on. What are in those plants? <gasps> are those plants where Shimmer came from? Cute. And can discuss them. She's dying. That sucks. I heard your prognosis. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. Oh. You should be proud of what you've accomplished, Victor. Yes, although ugh, he's not really seen it. It's always Jace that's seen for the work. Those who shine brightest often burn fastest. What a quote. And also, 
Incredible scenery. That's another wallpaper background for you. Another wallpaper for you. <laughs> oh, and the juxtaposition. Juxtapos Whatever the fuck, juxtaposition. That's the one. This scene's so funny as well. Jack, who are you grabbing? Some girls. I mean, I mean, I'm not grabbing girls. <laughs> He's actually terrified. He's actually terrified. They, they got in a fight with Zavika. Did a number on her. Which number? <laughs> like <the> same. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's actually just terrorizing him. Can you do this? Oh. Oh. Why, why would you do that? Ah. You. I'm deliberately not saying your name just in case. But we probably all know, don't we? Also love that image. Wallpaper, please. We lost her. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll wave. It's your sister. She's back. She's looking for you. She's with some girl enforcer. Guess she replaced you. Oh She's about as good for her cause as you were for your family. Jinx. That moment of weakness you see in her face, the cry, <laughs> and then she does that. Immediately switches. I know just how to deliver that message. Please get rid of those <laughs> disgusting sideburns. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Oh, isn't that a league champion? We grow in some plants. Responds to organic matter. It's like a rapid growth and it just sends it so far that it dies. It's like going through the ages of 1 to 80 in like a few seconds and then just dying. I can feel my body eroding. That's so sad. Bugs. Yo, it's powder. You have a good heart. Oh no. Vander said that to us as well. <laughs> You've changed. What did you do? What, what do you mean, Professor? Yeah, what What does he mean? Can Heimerdinger sense that Victor's blood mixed with it? But also, how is Victor different? Victor didn't change. That's weird. I need to understand what that means. We have lost our way. Loosened our morals in favor of comfort and convenience. We are houses divided. We must hold each other accountable. And who holds you accountable? Time and again, you've warned us what not to do. Let me ask you this. What's your plan to fix this? We need a leadership focused on the future. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well-deserved retirement. That is so savage. All in favor. Who's the person that controls the lights for these? When they put their hand up. Can we do that for me? Oh wait. Flashbang. I'm already getting chills just thinking about... Ugh. It's not even happened yet. It's not even started. It's about to. I'm gonna find her and erase whatever fucked up delusions you put in her head. You tell them. Oh. Get your, your creepy ass toes out of my face. Yes. Oof. Wherever you are, light it up and I'll find you. Chills. This is the best song in Arkin. I have that as my PC background, of course. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, Vice Sienna. That perspective. Oh. Eh. Uh, Fuck you, Marcus. But it worked! <laughs> She's here. Oh, powder! Aww. I never thought I'd see you again. Are you real? The saddest line in the whole of this series. That's so sad. I didn't think they would reunite so quick when I first watched this. Who are you? Oh. We can work this out. This Awkward. Is a trick. 
You're playing me. You can fire that thing if you want, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to abandon you again. Her touch like ground in her. Did you hear that? It's a terrible time for the firelights to appear. But also it's a sick scene. Oh, the way the oh, the way they work together, the firelights, so sick, so smart. Am I almost getting hit? Seeing the madness. Oh, the spidey senses too. Ooh. And if I Jinx truly loses sight of all of our surroundings. Why? No. Ah! Oh my god. I absolutely love that episode. It's my favourite. This song. Guns for Hire. Best song in Arcane, in my opinion. And then close second is What Could Have Been, I think. Oh, it's so good. Also, Ella Purnell did such a good job with Jinx's voice acting. So did Hayley Steinfeld, of course. It's such a golden episode, it's such a golden episode. Ah. Uh, well, anyway, that's it for the second act of Arcane. Damn, that was like so quick. That felt way quicker than the first act. Oh my god. Anyway, we'll be back next Friday, hopefully with um, Act 3. You know, I'm saying that, assuming this is coming out on a Friday. Please copyright, be nice to me, please. I can't handle re-uploading the video 8 million times. Uh, anyway. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, please like, sub, comment, all that jazz. Again, I'm looking for any and all movie TV show suggestions. So let me know what you want me to watch because I will do it. I will probably do it. So yeah, um, I look forward to seeing you all in Act 3 and then for Season 2. Have a lovely day. I'll see you later. Cheerio.